Show and tell. You ever got anything for Christmas when you were a little kid and you took it to school to show off when you went back to school later on? Like, hey, look what I got. I got this for Christmas. Yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And plus, we're going to be showing a few things that I've gotten from the Manson family for Christmas over the years. When it comes to Christmas, most of it's sentimental. Most of it's in your head. Most of the times, it's just a good feeling that you get from things that you do every single year. Or things that you put up. Or decorate with. Or somebody's given you over the years. Show and tell. The time Charlie Manson got a present from Santa Claus. And what did he do with that? He showed it off. He took it to school and he showed it off. And we're going to talk about that because he told me the story about it. And you've heard about it plenty of times already. You just didn't even know about it. Because sometimes Manson will tell things and you're not really sure if he's telling the truth. And he might tell a half a story. He might tell part of the story. But he always gets to all of the story if you give him a chance. Or you had an opportunity to ask him. And I did. So I'm going to talk about that today too. So stick around. Thanks for coming back. And happy holidays. These are the 13 My days. Of went to prison for five years for strong arm robbery. Her brother had to deal a trick in off the street and put the yoke on him to get some money to eat. And she went to prison. And I used to visit her in the prison visiting room. Out of the Kentucky mountains, when uh, my uncle said, We ain't surrendered. We're still rebels, and we'll be rebels until the end of time. Because I ain't accepted no Yankee school. He said, don't go to those schools, boy. So when I was nine years old, I set school on fire. About and Christmas and Charles Manson. I always want to talk about this. I've got this classic. VHS came from one of them video stores. Remember them? Um, South Park. You ever seen it? They have an episode called Merry Christmas, Charlie Manson. And in it, he breaks out of jail, goes to the Cartman's house, goes to the mall, spreads joy, you know, like Manson does, and sells some books. You gotta watch it if you've never seen it before, because it's pretty cool and it's a classic. But this isn't the only thing. Charles Manson at Christmas time. There's plenty of things Charles Manson. No, there isn't. There's nothing. That's why you've tuned in today to learn something new about Charlie Manson and Christmas. And today, it's show and tell. And I'm going to do some showing. I'm going to do some telling. Manson's going to do some telling. Well, not really. He's going to be talking through me, and I'm going to be telling you a story about Christmas. And the time that Charlie Manson got a Superman hairbrush. So stick around, grab your hot chocolate or whiskey or whatever the hell you drink for the holidays, and we'll be right back. So you like that? That's pretty cool, huh? You think it's alcohol, don't you? No, it was a gift from Michael Brunner one year for Christmas for me. Is it alcohol? No. What do you think it is? Can you guess? But it was a Christmas gift, anyway. And it's maple syrup, by the way. Wisconsin's finest. Let's get back to Charlie. And the day he got the Superman hairbrush. His mom hasn't made it to jail yet. And she's raising a very young Charlie Manson. He's only a few years into school. He's not well adapted. He's not well of anything. He's learning the lessons from his mom. Few years, you know. Shortly, she's headed off to state prison for a long while for strong arm robbery back in the day. It was with a ketchup bottle, but that's another story. Uh, Charlie's learning some of these lessons. And he's getting to resent things in life and he doesn't know much. You don't know anything when you're nine or ten years old. All you know is what your parents tell you. So everybody else is talking about Santa Claus and all these all these catalogs, Sears, JCPenney catalogs that came out, whatever came out at the day. 
and kids looking at them and thinking, oh, I want this toy and I want that toy. And toys were cheap back then. Well, they were relative to the price that they are now, I suppose. But, you know, $1.32, $1.35 for a decent toy. Boys liked playing cowboys and Indians back then. And, you know, girls liked Barbie, not Barbies, but they liked dolls and things that girls like, you know. All that stuff was available for a decent price. If a, if a mom would save up for a little bit, you know, she could even start a Christmas fund or whatever and put a little money in and save up and make the Christmas special for your kids. Because when you really look back on Christmas, it wasn't Santa Claus who came and made it so good for you. It was your mother. Your mother did that for you. And you ought to call her up on the phone and say, hey, thanks, Mom. I appreciate that. You were one hell of a Santa Claus back then. Because Charlie's Manson's mom, she didn't give she didn't give no care about Christmas at all. She was pretty much caring about probably her own sort of survival. The reason she did lots of things in life was because of survival. And I'm not blaming her because women get put in predicaments sometimes in this man's world of survival where you gotta do things. But this year she really, I think she set the spark for Manson, and Manson set the spark too. We'll get to that. But you've, like I said, you've heard this story before. Charlie would send Christmas cards. He sent them every year. Every single year he sent a Christmas card. I don't know how many, I've got like 25 Christmas cards from Manson. But he was good with Christmas. His mother wasn't, though. His mother was no good at all with Christmas. Because what she thought would be cute, I suppose, caused Manson a lot of stress. Let's get into that. Charlie would even send the presents in boxes at times. I got this one here from him. And it came with a ring. It came with a ring that said Atwa. It was a beautiful ring. It was a Christmas present. Another year from Charlie Manson. So Charlie Manson will prove to be way better at Christmas than his mother ever was. So Manson gave away good Christmas presents, unlike his mother. Let's get back to that story about his mother. So, I don't know if it was maybe a lack of money, uh, tough times, because she was having a tough time. She was living by herself now in West Virginia, mm, further up from where Charlie ended up in McMeachin, but she was living by herself, so she could have been having tough times. Maybe that was all she could afford. I don't know. But when Charlie went back to school, there was a show in town and you were supposed to bring a Christmas present that you would got for Christmas from Santa Claus back to school with you and everybody's gonna show them all off. Well, Manson said, he told me at the time he was pretty excited to go back and show them what he had just got for Christmas and it happened to be the Superman hairbrush. Um, today, if you had this same Superman hairbrush, it'd probably be worth about 200, 225 bucks. So, not a bad thing to get today, but back when Manson got it, it was about 32 cents. You know, rest of the toys, dollar, dollar fifty, thirty-two 32 cents. Anyway, he takes this thing back. He's like, hey, check out my hairbrush. Said he got totally annihilated with people just bullying him, laughing at him, making fun of him, because they had all these great toys, you know. They brought in all these dollar fifty toys and guys dressed up like soldiers and cowboys and Manson comes in with a hairbrush. And he said he was humiliated. He said, uh, they all went out to recess and they were singing Christmas song or I don't know what the hell they were doing. He, he said they went out to recess you know, all the kids are gone from a certain area. He said he took the matches that they were using to light the candles for all these festivities that they were having and humiliating him. He said he went under the Christmas tree where they had put all their presents. Now they're out. He's the only one there. He's playing with their toys first. You know, here's little Sally's doll. Hey, that's cute. I wish I would have got one. And then he's playing with all the train, maybe 
dressing up like the soldier and just thinking, hmm, before you know it, Charlie Manson's arsonist. Because now he lights the match, lights the tree on fire. And just like that meme, that girl in that picture where he's looking back, smiling, with the tree on fire as he walks out the school building, that's the story of Charlie Manson. He was humiliated so badly that he says he burned the school down. He didn't actually burn the building down, but uh, he did havoc to the kids' Christmas presents and the Christmas tree that they were under. And nobody was humiliated as badly that day as Charlie Manson. So, that's the story of Manson burning down the school. You know, it's basically a Christmas story because all these kids took their, you know, wouldn't that fucking suck? But wouldn't it be cool as fuck if you were one of them kids nowadays, like, yeah, Manson burned up my shit, man. That'd be cool. Back then, not so cool. Anyway, come back next time because we got more stories to tell about Christmas. Oh, I'll see you then. And until then, have a wonderful holiday. It's just the beginning. Take it one day by one day by one day. Don't make any plans for the spectacular thing to come. And if you like your hairbrush, continue liking it. Don't care what the hell anybody else says. And until next time, peace.